welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready for today's video for the next step in my all fall series is wreath making. That's right, it's wreath making day. I'm super excited about it. Grab your wire cutters, scissors, a little wire, and if you think you need a glue gun, you might grab it. If not, I'm gonna show you tips and techniques that you won't even need to use that glue gun, okay? So with that being said, this little basket of goodies that I have here is from our centerpiece that we did in the first video in this series. And it was making that beautiful centerpiece using nothing but the flowers and stems and some accessories. So if you haven't watched it, I will put a link for you. You can catch up because we're only on the third video. Awesome. Okay, so what you'll need is your wreath. I found this, of course, at the dollar store, right? You can find any color, texture, size, wherever you want from the techniques we're gonna work with today will work for any size wreath, any color. Okay, with that, we have the tufts that we made for our centerpiece, the loose flowers, some accessories that we can add in. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera closer in so that you get a better look and a closer, closer visual on the actual making. So stay right there. That's gonna work for us all. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we have that lovely tuff. Um, I'm actually gonna take one second and do a quick refresh on how we got that little darling. So you're gonna make like a shoe bow Basically, so I'll slow it down a little, sorry. One loop, leave a little on the end, do one loop, and your next loop. So when it comes out, it looks just like, sorry, a shoe. Give it a snip. Take one of your small pieces of wire that you've cut into a half and then a half again and you take it between each side wrap your index finger in it grab a quick hold on the back and you're gonna twist it makes a nice tight clean bow okay you can pull it in pull it out cut it down whatever you need to but it's super easy. Don't get too particular about it because once it's mixed in with everything, it's perfect just the way it is. All that was a dollar. Everything I'm working with, guys, is from the dollar store. I did want to refresh on these. These are the stems I'm working with. Each one I purchased had roughly five different blooms, which gives you quite a bit. So for $5, which is what we worked with in the last videos, we are still working with that same $5. And you probably won't even use it all on the wreath depending on the style that you are wanting to go. First things first, we're gonna take one of our tufts that has a wire on it. You may feel like you need a glue gun um, I don't particularly like to do that just because I, it does help when you're poking it through if you see a little hole or what to go straight into that, especially because this one we are going to attach through the back. So what I do is I split the wire and take that through one of the other pieces and I twist it around, okay? So you're getting 
a good grip on that. It's not going to blow away in, in a storm. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of those little cuts that I took from that mm -hmm. stem of five. Remember, I had left those longer. You always want to cut as long as you can in the beginning. Because if you use it for different projects, you may need to cut at different lengths. You can always hide or what. I did trim this one down a little bit. It was a little too long, so I took it down to the next level. And all I'm going to do is take that in that wreath and drive it through. It should get a nice, good grip. And if you look, it didn't even come out the other side. And then I spread it. Make it look like it's in its natural form. Always remember to fluff. So already you have your start. Now let's take one of the little orange flower stems. This one does not have a stem on it, but I think I have a big enough hole in here that I should be able to get it to lock in, which I did. Oops, nope, I didn't. Let me pick up another one. Let me show you a trick on this too. It's the same thing. Grab a wire, okay? Wrap your wire around it. Give it a twist. Nice tight one. And that will give you something to go in and grab it too. Okay. Let's take another one of those. I had cut a couple more, but that's okay. We're just going to cut. Remember to push that pretty greenery all the way to the top. Maybe when you purchase it, all the way at the bottom, slide it to the top. Give it a nice straight cut. And come in on the opposite side of that one leaf that you put in. See how that's filling in? And it's it's really steady in there. Let's go ahead and start bringing it down some. So I'm gonna take another leaf and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go straight up that. You can pull the tuff on one side in and then you can have that one coming out. You'll know later on, once you come up higher, you could flip it over. You see, it's, it's super universal. So we've got that leaf. Now let's go ahead with another leaf. Now this set was fun from the dollar store and it has berries and it had an acorn and a squash in it. So obviously grab that bunch because you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. See how they're so spread apart? Take that, push it to the top. Okay. What a difference that makes just by fluffing it and pushing it up to the top. And then you're going to cut it about half of the stem. Depending on how far you want to stretch it, as I said, always cut longer because you can cut some off. You can't add. Okay, lift that up. You see that? And you're just going to push it in. Can always give it a shake test make sure that it's not going to fly off let's go in let's go in with a couple of the other tufts so we're going to pull in another tuff here and you're just going to look and see you like different textures on the outer and the inner so see, by adding that tuff here, 
that now looks like a bow. See if you can see all that. Perfect. Okay. And you're just going to keep continuing on. Let's go ahead with these little red flowers. This one is great. You see how it has that extra green curly cue on it at the end? This is a great end piece. So I would totally go here and I would come up under that leaf that you just put with the acorn. And pull it in and you want to keep most of that stem on there because you want it to climb up okay then let's go ahead with another one of these and go ahead and just push that this one I should cut. And you really want a nice straight cut to go in because it makes your life easier. You're not fighting it. You see now we have almost half of the side done, right? Beautiful. Let's add a couple more of these. Let's take that low. And like it's just growing natural. Always tell a story with your designs. Sometimes you have to fight with it. Let's see how that comes down. Now it looks a little bare down there by itself, so let's go ahead and add um, one more thing underneath it. Why don't we add one of our mesh tufts that came on this large roll, and you'll be able to do your whole house between that cordage and this mesh. And let me recap, if you didn't hear, always make sure if you're gonna do some dollar store decorating that you hit it early before it gets picked over. Don't obviously wait till <laughs> the week before. It's kind of like ordering your flowers on Valentine's Day, right? It's kind of something you really shouldn't do. <laughs> Men. I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, see how that kind of fills in a little bit behind it? Okay, so we're getting there. The more you add, the more textures that you get. These are also at the dollar store. They're glittery. They're a really nice bright orange and they really add some pop into this so i'm gonna add some of those for sure okay so you take a nice good sized piece that you've cut remember it came in this size with one two three four four stems that then I went in and cut that one center one. I left it the longest piece, but you find a nice break to where you can cut it to where you still get length from both pieces. I cut there and this is what I come up with. And that's great for your sides. Okay, so you're gonna have your sides there. This super long piece is great for your top because you can come all the way through it. And remember with this, let's actually use that one for the bottom. Let's use a couple of these. So see how we put that bling right there? And let's go ahead and add some more. 
going up. You see how that stretches out? And it's just a pretty beautiful flow. And then take that nice long piece and you come up from the bottom with it. And the best thing about the silks and what? They're pliable, so you are able to mess with them as you're going, which I kind of like not using the glue gun for that matter also. And I like to pull my things apart instead of storing them because obviously they never come out of the box looking like they did. So if I just store the flowers in a nice thing, I don't care about the wreath, I'll throw that in and what, but my, you know, the little guys I want to keep fluffy, I'm able just to put them in a shoe box and keep them a little bit more. So you see how we have that long glitz coming down and also on the sides. And then we're going to add a piece of that to the top also. Now, I want to show you. Look how beautiful that looks. If you want, we're going to glue in a few little pine cones and what. But I wanted to show you. You can go... Um, at the bottom you could turn it to the side and do another small cluster here you could turn it to the top I hope you can see it how glitzy and pretty but even just from the top and then to the other side or curve it and put something up here just whatever feels natural to you. Whatever, I mean, once you get it done, you're like, oh, wow, I really might like that more on top, right? And let that be that and do a small little cluster down here. One person will like this way, but super universal, have fun with it. And then at the end, pull it down and tuck those little flowers away because you'll always be able to redo it next year or use them somewhere completely different. So that is where we are. Now, let's go ahead, and that is where you can leave it, or let's go ahead and elevate it a little bit and do something on this side. That's nice for a bottom, so you could go something smaller on top, up here. You could turn it sideways at a slant and go something opposite. You go to the top and go, I wouldn't go directly in the bottom, but I might curve one side of it that way. So I think I'm feeling it kind of long ways this way and I'm gonna do a little embellishment right up in top here. So let's go ahead and grab our top. Let me turn that go this way. And like I said, get your first one in there. Good. See, not really going anywhere on that. And then let's go ahead. I like to go with a leaf. This one had berries and what, use it all. Push that to the top, fluff it. And go ahead and grab your cutters and just take a nice piece off there. Not that much. Okay. And we have our first piece in. Go ahead with that second one. Nice, pretty. It's a nice size too, because it takes a lot of space. So just push, pull that leaf around, because we're gonna go ahead and add another leaf. Grouping, fluff it up. So we're kind of looking here. Let's 
go ahead with one of the orange. Now this one, I had already cut the stem off, so I don't know that I want to use that one right this second. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut it a little, a little longer and it's got that pretty curly cue. So then that you could put going upward and just push it in just like that. It does need something in the middle. So now is a great time, if you'd like, to add in small little pine cones. This whole bag I found at the dollar store and it is cinnamon scented and I got them early because they were probably meant for Christmas. But there's some little pods and what, and they go a long way. So you're just going to take that, find where it tucks in, maybe give it a twist, and there's a pine cone. If you want, add a second pine cone. Let me get that in better. The pine cones are a little heavier, so you may really want to glue those or tighten them in a way that they stay. That one just popped off. This guy's smaller, not so heavy. See that? And then the dollar store had a pack of 20 little styrofoam pieces that they didn't have a stem so I took one of the stems that I cut off of one of the flowers and I just pushed it up in the butt of the pumpkin okay now be careful when you push that in because it will come out the other side and then here's a pretty leaf that I did the same with the floral stem. See if you can get a good picture of it there. That's a nice picture. And if you have any of your mechanics, because we always hide the mechanics, you can just work with it. Turn a flower a certain way, pull up that pine cone. Just make sure everything in here is tight. Sometimes you have to force it. There we go, that's better. And let's go ahead and with, let's see. Maybe another flower tuft, because I have that ready here. Perfect. You see how that filled it in? And it could still use something. So let's go ahead and take another pretty flower cluster. And as I said, the leaves always come in super low. Don't waste those. Push them all the way up. This one I had left really long. So let me go ahead and grab one of my shorters because I would hate to waste the stem if I need that longer one. Cut it in half. And then go upwards. Look how perfectly it filled in that spot. So let me get you a further back view of how we're looking. So that could be the top, the side. I like it a little curved. And then what I would do to just finish it off, what I feel like it really does need was a little bit of that orange 
blingy because that really does add so much to it. Take it in, push, take that flower, give it a little twist. See how that looks now? It just adds a whole different dimension to it. leaf came out let me add a, another one let me go deeper up into the styrofoam perfect so you see it's all staying with just using what was provided for you no extra materials and I would love a little bit one or two more of the orange now I always will take photos and post it at the end of the video on the little masterpiece that we created. I know you all can do it. Embrace, embrace that fun creative side. Now, so this one, because I went this way long I'm actually going to kind of go, so this one, I went really long with the glitz. This one, I want to keep it a little more sideways, so it's just not taking the entire wreath. Let me find my little spot for that one, actually. Let's switch sides. It might want to go in that direction better. just getting a little tight in there and the great thing with this you can always bend it to the direction that you're wanting it to go which I love that too and the fun part is is just letting it kind of not be so perfect you know kind of just letting it gravitate where it wants to go Okay, so there's your finished product, Mac. There's the finished product on this side. If you felt like it was a little bare, you could always add um, another one of the mesh tufts up behind it. See how that looks? You have all the supplies, you might as well use them. You can get your whole house done with what I'm showing you. All right, wonderful. I will leave a picture of it. Watch till the end of the video so you can see the finished product. And I am gonna give you a little teaser on the next video. A couple of votive holders. A small little block of the floral foam from the dollar store. Piece of cake, right? We're going to learn a couple of different ways that you can go to dress up a table, side tables, restroom, little table for your luncheon with your besties. Um, for simple, using all of the same materials, okay? So, don't forget to... Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the bell for the future notifications because you don't want to miss out. If you have not already, check out the other two videos in my fall series. You can catch up super quick and easy. And I'm sorry that I don't want to say goodbye without showing you my face. I love and appreciate you all. I wish you all love and light and many blessings. Namaste.